My choice this week is a psychotic sex fantasy from Japanese auteur Shinya Tsukamoto, who first made his name with the Tetsuo films, which you can also find here on BFI Player. Following Tokyo Fist, Bullet Ballet, and Gemini, it's a head-spinningly bizarre concoction from one of cinema's most untamable talents, A Snake of Dune. <laughs> Tsukamoto addressed the eruption of repressed psychological desires through the violent transformations of the flesh. But just as David Cronenberg moved from the body horror of pictures like Shivers and The Brood into the more intimate visions of Dead Ringers and Crash, so Snake of June finds Tsukamoto shifting from the surreal to the psychosexual. According to its creator, the long gestating a Snake of June began life as an immoral tale that would make the juices flow in the mouth and was originally conceived as a more violent, more pornographic film than the one that was released in 2002. Presented in blue-tinted monochrome, which Tsukamoto counterpoised with the pink of softcore erotica, the story focuses on a mismatched married couple, a boring, bald businessman and sexually frustrated phone counselor upon whom a predator spies. Tsukamoto himself plays the stalker, brandishing blackmailing photographs of private masturbation with demands which include the public use of a remote-controlled dildo while shopping for vegetables. Less than 80 minutes in length, The Snake of June offers a mind-boggling kaleidoscope of kinky visions, some of which, such as a stage show involving sexualized drowning, you may wish you hadn't seen. Heaped with cancerous metaphors about liberation and repression, this often leaves us uncertain whether to laugh, scream, or squirm. But for sheer pulverizing weirdness, it's hard to top and reconfirm Tsukamoto as some sort of eccentric extreme cinema pioneer.